everybody welcome back to my channel redline mods i'll be using um dji osmo 4 right now so drop a comment and let me know how it went with this I'm trying to get rid of stability so this is kais uh shout out to him his instagram's at kais or kaisi underscore it's on his front lip i'll show you guys real quick right now and where do you want to start rear let's go to the rear <laughs> let's make it different this time so we're going wheel setup right they're new so you change it from last time niche what do you have high rev caliper covers yeah you have caliper covers right there uh what setup is that yeah make sure where is it bro it's 235 by 40 these are 19s and it's got rear side diffuser gloss black and then the side louvers right here. And then this has got the gloss black uh, door handles right there. Kind of gives it a nice offset right, right there. So it doesn't like blend in, it's nice. I like it. It's got the JDM style uh, window uh, visors and tinted, I would say 35% in the front, 20 in the back. 20 all the way, yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I was looking at it from that different angle. So that's right. So this is 20% all the way front and back you can't see inside but once the windshield's tinted you can't see inside at all so that's gonna be that 20 percent all the way around that's how it looks all right that's perfect right there and then going in the front what do we have here? Hmm. Fifty percent tint on the headlights. Damn, bro. That's just, I guess that's me. <laughs> but it looks like it's fifty. Oh, we got a huge plane going above us. That's um, 35% on the headlights, and there's no uh, tints on the, well, obviously, what's it called? Uh, fog lights, that redesigned fog lights to have. A lot of you guys like it, a lot of you guys don't. It is what it is, I guess. I hope they do something with 2022, if not 2023, at least. At least change the tail lights, right? From the stapler ones, people say a lot, the red ones. They gotta change the design for it. Um, so on top, the middle piece does, does, does not fit, actually, on the, as it would on a 2018 to 2020 Accords. This is mostly, it's all vinyl here. So that's the only way to do it, vinyl or you just plastic dip it or gloss black dip it, whatever you want to do. I'm going this way, down. What else do we have? You have a front lip, a pretty plain, three piece lip, pretty plain, just like that. But it's gonna be, um, Coming up on the next one, he's getting a 2021, uh, what is it called, Yofers? He's getting a Yofers front lip, so let's see how that one looks next time. And that's his IG right there. DM him if you need anything. Um, and then under the hood, he has k and intake, correct? Or AEM. It's gotta be k and -N. Oh boy nice so there you have it he's got the can and intake right there prl intake hose that was he had it before the prl but he wanted to swap it out to an open intake so he just cut out that extra you know he like that right here so no restriction for airflow so you won't be getting that if you just get this you're gonna have stock pipes right here but he already had one before so he just went off and cut it there make it fit it looks pretty cool and you had to buy that, right? So yeah, you had to buy that one. one. It's a Type R1. Exactly. Fits the same, yeah, same bolts. One, two, three, four. 
Yeah, it's so it fits on top of that. Um, I think that's all he has inside, right? No oil catch can, nothing. Yeah, the torque mod is swapped as well, right there. And we'll 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 hear it in a bit. We'll see how it sounds in case you guys want to get it. I'm going to the side. Now these were already, so the side mirrors are already gloss black. On the previous Accord he had, he actually bought the gloss black side mirror cap, so which looks pretty, pretty awesome because it was it wasn't like wrapped or dipped, so it looks really great on it. And the same thing on this side, the window visors, 20%, and going around, and then the roof spoiler on top. Side angle for you guys. If you like it. There you go. And now going back to the rear spoiler, a lot of you guys be asking me where can I get this? Where can I get this? You can get that on actually it's on eBay. Some there's two sellers, they actually run out really quick. So if you need to get one, just type in 2019 Honda Accord uh duckbill spoiler and that should pop up. And it does fit a 2021 so and the best way to put it is using a 3m gorilla gorilla tape you can get it at home depot but it's cheaper at amazon home depot is like 17 16 and amazon is like 10. so i might as well get that off of amazon the large one and one roll will fit the 120 inch and then on this side he's got v1s along with these are v1s uh v1 reflectors right what? they're just i think they're I'm not sure if they're V1s because it's a whole one that lights up. But these are the bumper reflectors. And then the quad tips. Alright, there you go. Yeah, you gotta... There's animation to it. So, then the gloss black right here. Delete. There you have it. Nice. That's the animation right there. Then there's another diffuser right here in the bottom. It's also it also gets on this side as well this whole piece right here going down that's that and he has what muffler resonator delete so let's just do a few revs it's a 2.0 so let's see how the difference is and then we'll hear the intake as well in the front put in sport mode <laughs> loud and he's thinking about getting spacers so it's gonna be kind of flushed out a bit i think he needs what does all we already have 10 millimeters with the wheels right 15 yeah. so it needs a bit 10 more 10 millimeters more to get that flushed out with the fenders and going inside i know you guys see something already that i didn't because i learned from you guys you guys be like oh what is that thing at the bottom that's uh, they go right on. It's on Amazon, honestly. Um, they look pretty, pretty great, grippy, no issues, doesn't slip or anything like that. And they have it in blue, red. What else? They have it in blue and red, right? I think they have it in blue and red. And that's it. I don't know if they have it in black, but this comes right off. Like, you see that? It goes right on onto it. I think the OEM one that's actually on it before. I think that comes off as well. Then you put this on. But yeah, that's how that one works. And then he's got the front wheel lighting here going on. And then he's got his stage three right here. The Faribault stage three tune. We're gonna make a POV video for you guys and then video coming up. And let me just sit there, make it easy. All right, so JDM emblem right here. Extension for, um, paddle shifters pops right out easy access you don't have to like find them in the corners and then carbon fiber top and also bottom and then also right here the sides the vents and the middle piece all the way around and then going down 
he's still he's still missing this piece but i'm sure he's gonna get it he loves this piece right here that he's missing for the carbon fiber look and he's got the mats down here which goes everywhere in the door sides or even the storage areas right there and goes in there too and upgraded his led lights to white also in the back and he's got a moon roof awesome i need one soon and but they do come with the vanity lights and so you upgraded that as well so he's got the nexar right there how's the nexar treating you it's good that's, that's good to know <laughs> um yeah and that's about it i would say that's it right he's got what all weather mats yeah. and then you have this and then he's got the accord is it vinyl or is it clicked in is it like pushed in okay so it's vinyl same thing here right yeah. so it's both vinyl pieces right there and this was already on it right or did you yeah, cut yeah. it out okay so that was already on it yep looks pretty nice it matches with the color outside so that's it guys next video is coming up is the stage three variable tune and we'll see how it actually works um i've driven one in um without mods and then this one has actually an intake and a um, torque mount for reflexes and stuff like that for launching and taking off and just hitting the gas real quick so it, it's got to be a bit different it does have a muffler resident delete as well so that might make a bit difference as well and we'll just go for a drive and that video is coming up next so make sure you subscribe and you may enable all the notifications by hitting that bell icon appreciate the support and that's it guys peace out and let me know what you guys think about dji